Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? It's your motherfucking boy, EM. If you want any exclusive videos, any new music, any raw raps as far as freestyles, that's strictly off the motherfucking street. I let your boy, ASAP, E W D Y, period, M I double R O R S I L L.com. This little fucking fat hooker. Name Malini, you know what I'm saying? Shut the con's daughter. You know what I'm saying? Greasy shit. Seen a lot of greasy shit on my emails and all that. I'm just respond to a couple of emails later on in the footage. Other than that, I want to clarify some things. You feel me? I want to clarify that, like I told you on my other fucking videos, I never dealt with the daughter like that. You dig? I never dealt with the grandmother like that. You dig? But I, I, I pretty much know the daughter more than the grandmother because I rarely even talk to the grandmother. You don't want to know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Sandra Coleman. So, a lot of shit, daughter, more than the grandmother because I rarely even talk to the grandmother. You don't want to know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Sandra Coleman. So, a lot of shit, seeing that was like awkward. When I was staying at Shaka Khan's house, you dig? I was there for like six months. No longer than six months. I explained to y'all everything that pretty much took place at that house when I was there. And as far as the issues and the beef that's going on, it got something to do about some that just took place a long, long time ago, you know what I'm saying, like, it's, 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 it's deeper than rap, you know, at the end of the day, it's just deeper than rap, and to all y'all niggas that's commenting some weird shit on my YouTube page, why don't y'all niggas just get off my mother, baby, give me one more chance, why don't y'all niggas just get off my motherfucking dick, Go play outside, food and just, you know, follow all my, my YouTube pages and stalking me and shit, saying some off the ball shit. But yeah, at the end of the day, like, back, back in that time, like in 1996, and all of that, you know, before I went to jail, you know, in September, I didn't have a car. I didn't have a car at all. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much, Damien was like, nigga was just in different cars. You know, he, he knew people with cars. Sometimes it's kind of because sometimes I seen a nigga with cars that wasn't even his. You know what I'm saying? He'll borrow his mom's car. You know what I'm saying? And he'll just borrow like other cars from different people. But I didn't. I never asked him like when he pulled up with these cars. I never asked him who calls it was or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? He was just pretty much always in the streets. Like nigga was just always moving fast. You know, if it came down to like making money, he was just a nigga that was never staying at home. You know, he only stood at home occasionally. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, he was just always, he was always on the move. I'm talking about a nigga that never loves to stay still. He always, he's always active, you know what I'm saying? And speaking of active, you know, I never knew that Shaka Khan came out with a, with a book. You know, I, I received a couple of emails of people asking me questions, you know what I'm saying, about the book or, you know, places that took place within the book in these different cities and wanted me to ask you know ask me personal questions and shit like you know what I'm saying when it come down to like these little personal questions y'all niggas is emailing me um if I ain't get got back to y'all that's basically basically that I didn't want to answer it you know what I'm saying but if I got back to y'all 
then y'all know what it is. But for those that I ain't got back to the emails to, y'all just asking some way off the wall shit that I can't even answer, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, I heard about the book. I seen that book at a local library. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really get a chance to read it, but I got a chance like to look through it a little bit. But as far as these questions, you know, that you guys got for me that have something to do with the book. And the book that I'm talking about is Shaka Through the Fire. You know, I'm going to get to those questions later and I'm going to probably post up another video soon. That got something to do with these questions you're asking me about the book, you dig? But as far as, um, as far as her son, you know, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga just had like a lot of work orders he had to take care of, you know, as far as people he was dealing with in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he never like really depend on his mother as far as like getting money from her. He was very independent at a young age, you know what I'm saying? He was just doing a lot of wild shit to get it. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by that, I mean like shit. I a fucking con artist, you know, always scamming people. Always, you know, hustling, you know, just a hustling motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like if y'all ever watched that movie Paid in Full, it was kind of like Mitch. Money making Mitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Makai Pfeiffer. You know, he was always like trying to trying to come up. You know what I'm saying? On, trying to trying to come up. You know what I'm saying? On somebody. You know what I'm saying? Always, uh, you know what I'm saying? Always trying to, um, you know what I'm saying? Now, I do want to refer to the book a little bit, but not too much right now. But I don't understand it as far as Shaka Khan and shit you did. And this fucking book where I was, you know, looking through. And a lot of people was asking me this question too. And I kind of feel like disappointed. Is why is there a fucking gap? Between the years of 1994 to 1998. Like. If Shaka Khan, her daughter, or her son wants to watch this fucking video. Tell me why in the book it's just so much of a fucking gap between 1994 and 1998. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of like. It kind of woke me up to a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as. All my interviews, all my videos I've been posting up online within the last year, it kind of makes sense like how everything took place within them years. And I would love for these fucking cocksuckers to please explain to me what was going on within them years. You know, if niggas want to get technical. And all these motherfucking niggas that's supporting you motherfuckers, you know, trying to suck my dick in person online. You the motherfucking shut the fuck up. Any of y'all niggas want to talk to me directly, y'all can give me your phone number through my email. You dig? E W D Y period M I R R O R S A L O dot com. If it's a serious issue that's going on with you, medicated looking motherfuckers, y'all niggas can holler at me direct, live and direct. You fucking cocksuckers. But as far as all of that, like I said, man, like the the daughter in my other interviews, I was talking about the, the daughter and um her baby daddy, you know what I'm saying? Y'all asking me questions about that too. I don't know nothing about like the baby daddy and how they shit was situated, you know what I'm saying? I can't even tell you that it really was the baby the baby daddy. I just seen a nigga come out the driveway, you know. Speeding up the street, but I didn't get to get a good look like the look I wanted to get, you know what I'm saying? But as far as like the baby's father, you know, I don't know if if Damien was, you know, honest about saying that's the baby's father because sometimes, you know, if there's a man involved with a woman, you know, and a woman already got a child by somebody, you know, it might be just a stepdaddy or it might be just a friend in the picture, 
that's helping out, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, I'm not too sure who the nigga was, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, uh, I never heard about the nigga name, you know, I never, I never heard about the nigga whereabouts, you know, I don't know nothing about the nigga, you know what I'm saying? And as far as, you know, the daughter's name, I seen, I seen online, like, she go by the name of Raven, you know, I, I never knew her, her real name was Raven, as far as Malini's daughter. I always called her Shamaya, because that's what everybody around the house called her, Shamaya. And as far as Andrea, you know, we, we knew her as Malina, Malini, you know what I'm saying? Like, these names, I'm telling y'all, that's the names I've been hearing every time, you know, we go over there. Or we catch them at different functions in different other cities. Now, that's what the names I heard, what they was call, calling them. So, that's, that's what I went by, you dig? And it's the grandmother. That was Sandra Coleman, you know what I'm saying? But, they already even called her that, you know what I'm saying? They called her, you know, Nana or Grandma or something, you know what I'm saying? They never, they never called the grandmother by her real name or nothing like that, you dig? Now, as far as like me bringing up these people, I, will, I really want to bring up a lot of people within the film, you know what I'm saying, that I'm giving y'all. I want to bring up a lot of people, but I just, need, I just need to put these niggas in a position where they need to be as far as me bringing them up, because I don't want to bring up everybody, because if I bring up everybody... A lot of you niggas is going to continue sending me death threats and getting all butthurt like little bitches, which I could care less, but I just, I just want to, um, name the right people, you know, and put the right people in, in the footage because, you know, a lot of these people in the footage either got locked up or these niggas is dead and you know what I'm saying? They got to be somebody that I really didn't care about, you know what I'm saying? I, I rarely even seen and somebody I really cared about. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's a lot of motherfuckers in this, in this, um, when I was looking through my documents the other night, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people, you know, that I, that I had mentioned. I mentioned it through conversations with friends, conversations with ministers and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't want to get... I didn't want to give out too much information as far as like giving out everything in details and stuff like that. Because I feel like in my other interviews as far as the Coke Assassins and all of that, I think I was just laying out too much, you know what I'm saying? Not laying out too much as far as names, but laying out too much on what was going on in these hotels and like how everybody, you know, played their position within the footage and all of that, you know what I'm saying? But... I could give a rat's ass about the locations and the names I was giving out. It's just I don't I don't like to get in too much detail about who was holding what and who, and who was holding what for. You know what I'm saying? Just just what motherfuckers was doing. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of shit I seen and witnessed. You know what I'm saying? But all you fucking punk motherfuckers on YouTube talking about I'm dry snitching or I'm snitching and all that. I don't consider that snitching at all because ain't nobody got incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas need to point the finger at Shaka Khan's bodyguard because that's the biggest rat of them all. You know what I'm saying? The nigga snitched. Then while I was in jail, the nigga was fucking my mother. You know what I'm saying? What's... You know what I'm saying? But other than that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was in jail while this nigga was fucking my mother. And this nigga snitched me out. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, like, you motherfuckers talking about I didn't know these motherfuckers at all. Well, y'all motherfuckers is failing to realize when I got locked up, I got locked up in Shaka Khan's house. That's what I was locked up at her house. And the, and the individuals that was there was Gary, the bodyguard, and um, Shaka Khan's son, Damien. Now, I, I'm not too sure or too honest that if Gary's son was there, because, you know what I'm saying, I think I think, I think at the time that nigga was in school, you know what I'm saying, he was going to middle school and shit, you know what I'm saying, I, I don't know if Holly was somewhere, so I, I don't think he was there at the time. I think, you know, I think the father, which Gary, which one I'm talking about, 
I think he just dropped them off. Then when he came back home, you know what I'm saying, all that madness happened, you know what I'm saying. When the feds, you know, came through the gate and all of that, he let he let him through the gate, the secret gate, you know what I'm saying. And as you know, you know, the rest was history, you know what I'm saying. Them niggas came in the house, you know what I'm saying. Them niggas put me in cuffs and all of that, and they started walking me out the door. But the point of me bringing this shit up is because, like, while I was in jail, I'm sure everybody mind was... It's pretty much in the gutter, you know what I'm saying? Everybody mind was like pretty much everywhere, you know. Nobody was really thinking about me at all, you know, no letters, no visits, nothing, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that got a lot to do with loyalty when like if I'm your boy, you know, I'm locked up, you ain't really giving two fucks about me, you know. You out here doing what it, what you doing and your mother's bodyguards fucking my mother at the same time. Then when I got out of jail, see, let, let me get some, let me clarify some shit too. When I got out of jail, I was still hanging with the nigga. That's what y'all niggas don't understand, man. I hung out with the nigga, like, like, pay, I want to say like four years. Damn, they're close to four years when I got out of jail. You know what I'm saying? So I damn near knew the nigga for, for a while. You know what I'm saying? Since before I went to jail, then after I went to jail, still hanging out with the nigga. So probably by like beginning of 01 or whatever, we just, you know, went our own ways. You know what I'm saying? It was over some small too, but you know what I'm saying? Besides all of that, you know, niggas went their own ways and they did what they did. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't start like figuring shit out till I really like chose not to hang out with the nigga anymore. You know what I'm saying? Word up. And as, and as far as, like, these questions, y'all, 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 y'all emailing me, asking me if this nigga Damien was a gay rapper. Nah, he wasn't a gay rapper at all. He wasn't gay at all, you know what I'm saying? I didn't understand why he hung out with Pina so much, you know, which was Marlon's friend. That nigga was gay, you know what I'm saying? He used to just come, come to the house with, like, all these piercings and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fucking a dark-skinned nigga with a tank top. You know what I'm saying? He had, like, dyed his hair blonde or some shit. Like a, like a, like a fucking mohawk that was blonde and shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was nuts, kid. Pause. But, if anything, that nigga was the real homo. You know, Peanut. Which hung out with Marlon and Damien. As far as Damien, nah, he never was on no gay shit. He never came at me on no gay shit. I never seen that nigga on no gay shit. Seen that nigga with numerous of bitches. And as far as the, um, as far as the, um, <clears throat> there's a lot of movies I want to bring up that got a lot to do with certain issues that had a lot to do with what's going on in reality. But I'm going to save that for the next footage, you know what I'm saying? I really don't want to fucking talk about movies no more, you know, I talked about all kind of fucking movies when I was giving out these footages and shit, I feel like, you know, that's not necessary, now, a lot of shit going on, after a lot of niggas got locked up, you know, during my time when I was with Damien, you know what I'm saying, it was just asking me, was it true that that Damien had a, a drug addiction problem, you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, at the time, we did do drugs, but it was just marijuana, you know? That was the only thing we, we fucked with, you know? We fucked with, um, we fucked with weed only, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking stress, I'm talking about kush, you know? That's all niggas smoke with some kush. And... As far as, like, him, you know, having a, um, a drinking issue, I don't think the nigga, he rarely even drank, like, liquor like that. Like, he drank beer and shit from time to time. But as far as hard liquor, like, <clears throat> that was, like, rarely, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking, like, no big bottles or nothing like that. Because niggas wasn't really, like, on no baller shit back then, you know. If you will buy a bottle, you know, it'd probably be, like, a little small pint. Either some Remy Martin or some gin, or you know he'll he'll sneak in his mom's room and shit, probably pour him a shot of some you know some brown shit. You feel me? But other than that, you know like if he was to drink, 
you know, alcohol or whatever. It'll probably be with like a meal or something. You know what I'm saying? Go to Del Taco or go to motherfucking Tony Ramos or something and come back with some beds. You know what I'm saying? That's only when he was eating. But as far as like being an alcoholic, you know, I, I, I doubt that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like... When he was around me, he wasn't really tripping off the liquor like that. You know what I'm saying? The nigga was just always smoking weed and shit. The nigga was like, he was like the biggest weed head ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all he brought and that's all he was around. Yeah. I'm going to get to the other the other drugs that came in in place, you know, in a different footage as well, you know, later on in the footage. Oh, y'all stay tuned to what I got to say next. I'm going to get into all of that in details. Somebody time. Other than that, holla at me. If I got any questions, hit me with y'all numbers if there's some type of issue. I'm signing out. It's your boy Eddie Mirrors. Stay tuned. The saga continues. Dick.